Life Path number two, how you doing? So this is a series of uh, Life Path readings that <coughs> obviously I've been keeping up with, but I'm hearing keeping up with appearances. There is something around pride number two. Uh, you could also be dealing with a Libra, but you can also watch this as a Libra for a number two. But I'm hearing up keeping up appearances. Someone's appear, appearing. I don't know if they're appearing missing, because I'm hearing Virgo energy as well. Someone in this missing you, I'm missing you, I miss you like crazy. Also misusing you as well, using you. Now they're changing, what? Changing, the word. someone's also dealing with a Gemini as well, I feel. But a lot of air, a lot of like, well I miss you, I'm misusing you, I'm abusing you. Someone is abusing, also using drugs. It is also maybe possible here. Because I'm hearing, well, I'm using, I'm using, and I'm using again. I'm sorry, but I'm using it, using it, using it, and using it, and using it. And I don't really care. So someone is doing something to themselves, I feel. And it's like, well, I'm abusing my power now. Or like I'm abusing, abusing oneself is what I'm hearing. Like I'm abusing my power and I'm using myself, but abusing myself. So is this an eating disorder or something that somebody has? Because it feels like that I'm abusing myself. I'm abu so is someone doing self harm? To what? This is new. <laughs> this is new. It's like well, that's news to me. Someone's using drugs or using alcohol or abusing, abuse, physical abuse, mental abuse, physical abuse, and abusing people, abusing people. But. Not just abusing, but using people. Like, well, I'm just going to use you, and I'll use you also, and then I'll use you as well. So someone's definitely getting the rounds in, <laughs> but it definitely feels like that I'm using you. Mm. I'm using you for something that I need, and then when I'm done, I'm finished, and that's it, and I'm just going to throw you away like a piece of trash. <laughs> it's, it's what I'm hearing. It's like, well, all we care about is us. And it's just me and you against everybody else. And then as soon as we've used everybody, we're going to throw you away <coughs> and we don't need you anymore. Is this a boss? Because I'm picking up Hugo, Hugo Boss or like some scent or accent. Someone has an accent or an accident. What? Cancerian? Someone has an accent. Or an accident. They keep saying someone has an accident. It might be around someone that's like abusing drugs or using drugs and alcohol. And someone that's using, there could be an accident. Because I'm seeing someone fall asleep at the wheel. The wheel of fortune. Something around Capricorn. Well, if you've seen life path number one, that had a turnaround of something there. Okay, but I'm hearing... Um, I'm using again, and there's, well, I mean, if you, <laughs> listen, if you've just found this channel, you're going to probably find it very peculiar. Um, because there seems to be this scent of something of like, man, I'm sure this person's using me or using again, but I know they're using me. I know they are. But they keep saying, I know they're using and they're abusing themselves. So this could be someone that you know that, man, there are some spirits around me just lately. I keep seeing them in every video. Um, like is using drugs or alcohol or using someone to throw them away like a piece of trash but if there is somebody that is physically like using somebody then uh, they're like uh, using drugs or alcohol then there could be this uh, falling asleep at the wheel is someone using heroin or is it like sleeping tablets because I'm hearing sleepers, sleepers, like sleeping policemen. So the police are involved in this then, right? Because there's an involvement here around uh, doing something illegal where someone could be drinking and driving. Or driving. So you could have something to do with around seven, Cancerian, maybe, or Life Path 7, of like using again. Or, or trying to use them again. Like, well, I need you. I need your services and I need you. Do you, do you want something? Um, but, like, i got this energy of where someone... Because when I channel, this can be people's opinion against someone's opinion, right? So I would see uh, channeling as 
this energy, that energy, and it all comes in. So generalizing it, what I'm seeing is, is that someone is physically thinking about using someone for work or for money or for something that they physically need. And there's other people are like, what well, you want to use me again? Because in the life path number one, that was like, really? What do you want me for? What do you want? Like, what do you want? What, why, why ring me again? Why ask me again? Why ask? Why up? Why it? I mean, why it? But I'm hearing, why ask me again? Why do you want to use me again? What is it special about me that makes you want me? Or want to use me? Because this is like a service of like, well, we need you. So we own a company or we do something. And we need you. Right? We need you. Need you? Need you. Or nephew. But like, we need you. Right? Uh, someone that's also Jewish. Right? But we need you. So because of that, you've got this energy of like, well, we're going to use you anyway. So you can either like accept what we're offering you, but we're going to use you. <laughs> So this is like work, right? And where someone's like, look, we want you. We're going to pay you, but we're going to use you at the same time, meaning that we're not going to, we're going to hold stuff back from you and not tell you that we're physically fucking using you like a piece of trash and we're going to walk all over you. So this is kind of this energy of codependency of where like we need things, but we're not prepared to do things fairly. I really think that you are dealing with around a Libra energy. It's like, look, we're going to use you, but we're not going to pay you for it and, or enough. So this is to do with like wages and stuff, man. Yeah, I mean, this is what I'm saying to people. When you're looking at your life path, just represent it as the number of card, right? Which would be two, which would be Libra. So there's something around, look, we're going to use you and you and you and you and you, but it's going to benefit us a hell of a lot more than what it is everybody else. So you could even look this up as a reading for work around justice. Because there seems to be this energy around you, number two, where, where people are either falling off like flies or people are being used left, right and centre and abused left, right and centre. At a centre, like at a drug centre. I'm also picking up like a drug centre for another energy here of another message possible. That's like, OK, I'm using again. And there could be someone that is either drinking, driving, using drugs, alcohol, falling asleep at the job, falling asleep on the job, or falling asleep at what, like, <laughs> on the job here is also like work, but it is also like trying to perform something in the bed, and they're like, man, I'm getting bored. <laughs> so, I don't know. But like falling asleep on the job. But this could be an energy that's channeled of someone falling asleep at work. Because there doesn't seem to be any excitement in, in what the relationship itself, like there isn't any excitement. It feels like, well, I'm just going to use you and then use you as well. <laughs> I mean, and it's like, well, you don't really have anything and then I'm going to use you either. And it's like, oh, there, there really isn't any fish out there for me to catch. So like Pisces, but like someone using someone to get pregnant. I mean, I'm really, I'm, I mean, if I'm honest, I really am picking up that someone's using something around children, right? But like using or abusing the system itself, like money, tax, all this kind of stuff I'm picking up channeled wise. Or like I'm you I'm gonna use you in order to have a baby, <laughs> but like I don't want you as a partner, I just want you for a child. Or I Man, I'm getting frustrated through this reading, honestly. Because I really am picking up that people have no idea. Again, it came up through a Libra reading. You have no idea that we're actually doing it. But I think people are. But I don't think that fucking... I think that people are intimidated to leave. And this is why I think it's a lot to do with around work. Because they're all locked into contracts. And it's like, well, you're, it's legally bound and you're in a contract and you either stay or go, but this is what we're offering you. This is people that need assistance, right? Like, I need an assistant or I need something, right? So I'm, I want you. But these assistants, all these people, are like kind of like, well, 
this this isn't fair. <laughs> this isn't fair. Like it isn't. Well, I mean, that's what I'm picking up. That this isn't fair. We're not. We're we're being mistreated and used. But we can't leave because it's the only job that we've got. And this is why this could be a channeled government type sort of thing. So this could be the polls. Someone Polish, or the polls, like the 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 voting system. Of like, well, who's going to vote for what? Voting. I'm hearing voted or devoted. Virgo, hopelessly devoted to you, but I'm hopelessly devoted, but this is kind of like a trick of like, yeah, you're devoted, you're with us, you're, you know, you're in the gang, you know, it's part of the family, it's like, you're with us, and it's good, and but like this, like, where people are under this spell of illusion or something, and it's like, yeah, I know, we're, we're doing it for, this is a bit like a care home, right, and you're kind of like, yeah, you know, but why is it that you're doing this job? And it's kind of like you go for an interview and you're like, well, I want this job because it's really for the clients that we do it for. It's because I care and stuff. And then these people are like, right, brilliant, we've got you then. And it's kind of like 11, 11 on the clock, so I'm hitting the nail on the head. So it's like, okay, so, you know, we, we've got you now. We've got you in this trap where it's like, well, we obviously know that you're only doing it for the love of kids or for the love of working with elderly or something like that. And because of that, now we're going to now pay you shit wages and not pay you enough money. And then all these people, or you, are like, hold on a minute, this really isn't fair because I'm working really hard, but I'm not getting enough wages, I'm not getting enough money. But the people that are like doing it, they're like, well, you know, you're locked into a contract and like you've signed it already to say that you want the job. So now there you go. And this is not letting people know how much they're going to get. It's like, well, do you want a job? It's like, yeah. And then someone like really building up, say, right, you're going to get this, and you, you know, you're going to have that, and blah blah blah, and so on and so forth, and, and you know, whatever. And then it's like, okay. And then there it is. And then you're like, right, brilliant. You can start work Monday. And you're like, yeah, great. And someone's not mentioned the wages. And then it comes Friday, and you're like, bro, hold on a minute. It's like, fuck, I've done all this work for little money. <laughs> so someone's like having to do loads of work for very little payoff is what I'm picking up. Because it's something to do with like pay grades or retrogrades. And someone's getting frustrated and tricked into like this, I don't know, like tricked into work or tricked at work. Well, that seems to be your main message. I mean, if this is your love life, then I've got no idea because the main messages of what they're saying is a lot of tricked, fooled energy around Pisces or journey, journeying of like, okay, or journaling, journalists that could be lying. Like, well, I'm going to write a story and I'm going to write a page and I'm going to lie in it, right? So, because <laughs> it's like newspapers or, or something and it's like, bruv, I've just read the paper. And it's like, what have you read? It's like, well, obviously bullshit. So something to do with around like either Taurus or like payslips. You're like, well, I'm reading my payslip, but that seems bullshit. That don't add up. That's not working out. What? That don't, like what? And people are, I, uh, fuck, I mean, are people wise to this? I, I think that people are, but they don't want to say. And this is why I pick up like boss intimidation. Or like, um, like we've got loads of stuff and we're making it look great, but really, you ain't going to get fuck all for it. Do you know what I'm saying? Like someone puts in like loads of work, but the payoff for that work is not being fairly distributed between the people that, that are like wanting stuff as a, as a, like material, material. Material, Madonna, Mad Madonna, Lady Madonna, Wings, Paul McCartney is bringing out a new album. So if you've been watching through the month, you'll realise that I started saying Wingspan and everything else, okay? And uh, Little Lamb Dragonfly, could, uh, you really could have something to do with around the Capricorn energy, right? Um, and uh, I realised that through that I said, God, I hope nothing happens to Paul McCartney. And then all of a sudden, lo and behold... Comes up on my YouTube feed, Paul McCartney bringing out a new album in December called McCartney 3. So you could be dealing with anything around 3, which would be to do with work or a life path or healing year number 3. Um, 
which would also be Pisces, which would be Hangman, uh, High Priestess. So this is a lot to do with pride and a mother or so, and a lot to do with free people or like drinking, driving, same messages, but around a Pisces, being a mother. So if you're a single, independent, working mother, you're not... Because I'm picking up, like, some mothers do have them. Like, well, I've got kids and I've got loads of kids, but we're not getting enough money from the government. But we're not getting paid. it Because this is like a, anything that's governmental, like mental health, government money, like pay grade support from the government itself. Like, I've done loads of work and I've done things for the government, but I'm not getting, I'm not getting my... These are people like that have done war, is what I'm picking up. You know when people go to war, and then they, they come back as a veteran, because I'm picking up vets, like someone that works for cats or dogs, Leo maybe, but like vets, a, vet a veterinarian is what I'm picking up, like either the, uh, a veteran or a veterinarian, right? Or a canary, for some reason, the Canary Islands. But like, um, quite contrary, how does your garden grow? Well, quite well for someone, because they're the seven of... Pentacles is like growing. So, well, it's like, well, my kids are growing up. Where's the support? Where's the support from the government? Where's the support? Where's the help? Because this is something to do around children or like veterinarians or vets, like dogs, cats, people that work for the vet or the Met, Metropolitan Police also, or the, the Metropolitan, like which would be a newspaper. Because I'm picking up a paper report or re being reported, someone being reported here to the police or in the newspaper. Something coming up in the newspaper is what they're saying. Mind, watch the newspaper. Watch the news. Saying something is going to come up on the news that's going to be quite devastating. It could be around this political matter. So if you're dealing with anything that's political, there could be something that comes out on the news that people are waiting to hear about. Is this is this public publical like uh, uh, like a, an election a general election or something? <coughs> uh, but I'm picking up um, life path number two. Also, sorry if I haven't said this is going to be a tarot reading and also channel messages for your month of November. Um, but like, like they're saying like vets, the vet or the Met. Well, the Met is the Metropolitan Police Department. So that's London, right? So it can still relate anywhere else. But, like, the police or the metropolitan of, like, the newspaper. And someone's writing a paper on somebody. Like, well, I'm going to have to write a report. Like, if you're not going to do it, I'm going to have to report you. So someone's reporting back also to someone. And it came up in the Libra reading. Like, reporting back to them of news. It's like, listen, have you heard? Blah, blah, blah. And it's like, oh, right, okay. So what else have you got to tell me that they've said and done? It's like, yeah, and someone's reporting all of this news back to someone, like reading the newspaper or news, because it's saying news. No news is good news. So you've got a lot of negative Nellies, like an elephant in the room of ne negative Nelly, <laughs> or an Aunt Nelly, or Nelly the Elephant. That came up actually in the Life Path number one reading, like Nelly. Nelly Furtado. <laughs> Nelly Furtado, um, which was, um, what is the song go by Nelly Furtado? Uh, torn. Torn. I don't find it torn. I'm all out of faith. Because this is how I feel. I'm torn and I am shamed. Lying naked on the floor. Illusion never changed. Into something real. Seven of Clubs. Illusion never changed into something real. And I can see the perfect sky is torn. I'm all out of faith. Someone's all out of faith. Like, all, or, or the name Faith. Right? But, like, I'm all out of faith. Like, I'm all out. So, it's like, I don't know if I believe it anymore. I don't know if I have faith in you anymore. Like, Someone's losing their religion, or R-E-M, Red Ram, Virgo. But, like, I'm losing, I'm losing, I'm losing, I know I'm going to lose them. Something like I know that I'm going to lose, I know. 
This is like taking the big risk gamble, Capricorn. Big risk gamble, and I know that I'm losing them. I know that I'm going to lose them. These are like clients or people or people that are being fucking moved around strategically within business and like, okay, well, we're going to lose them and we're going to lose them. And if we don't do something soon, I mean, I've said that around karma, be careful how you treat people because someone's going to be losing something. Like, you know, I mean, I think I did say, state that through a Libra reading through the month of November where I said, be careful about karma after retrograde and things when they pick up that people might start dropping off like Lord of the Flies. Drop like flies. Spies like us, Paul McCartney, Wingspan. <laughs> Um, yeah, well, that seems to be that at the moment, life path number two, or Libra. <laughs> Your messages seem to be the same, I can't help it, I'm just channeling them. But, uh, there's this, like, people being used and abused, or physical abuse, or mental abuse, or tortured in, uh, like, a contract of something, or, like, stuck. Pisces, like stuck, like stuck in the middle with you, or like I don't know what to do around glue. Someone could be sniffing glue, or sniffing you, sniffing you, sniff you, sniff and neff, neffy, effy, steffy, steff you, neff you. Effing else? No. <laughs> no. No, there ain't effing else. So someone Chinese? So is there anything else? It's like, no, effing else? No. No, nothing. <laughs> nothing. Nothing else. Someone's tight-fisted as shit and they're not letting anything go. I mean, it's like, no. It's like, can I have something else? It's like, no. What, it's like, what else do you want? It's like, you know what? There's all this stuff, and it's like, yeah, but where in the fuck is it? Seven of Seven of Pentacles illusion. It's like, well, fuck, you just offered me all this stuff. Where is it? Can't get onto it. I can't like where where is you know the stuff that I was promised. This is a bit like the um, what do you call it? Like Dionysus. It's like, well, where's everything I was promised? Where's the wine? The vine <laughs> dying on the vine, right? Where is it? Where's this divine Dionysus or something? Where's the divine? Where's the wine? Where's the dream that we was promised? Where is all this stuff? It's like, well, we, we promised it. It's like, oh, you, but you said. And it's like, oh, no, but it don't add up. Adam and Eve, something around a Gemini. So this isn't adding up. It's like, I know it isn't adding up. It's like, that's not enough. So, so so people or you are working out your books and you're like, bruv, that, that's just not working out. It's like, how the hell do we make this up? <clears throat> anyway, so that's your, that's, your, oh, that's your messages so far, uh, Libra or number two. <laughs> Healing year, personal, which is personal to you which would be your healing year of things that you will go through, of two. Or you're a Libra, or you have a life path number two. Take your pick, because you could be dealing with a three. <laughs> right? <laughs> which would be work, college, school, educational rights, the law, court, for a lot of you. Like having to go to court, fish, Capricorn, uh, <laughs> Capricorn or uh, Pisces, or a mother, getting caught with her pants down. Like, <laughs> like having to go to court, or having to go to the drawing board, or back to the board, the board meeting. This is well, we're going to have to go back to the board and see if, what they say. It's like chairman, like here, here. It's like yes, I agree. It's like no, I disagree. It's kind of like when someone could be called to go to jury duty or something, or the judge, the jury, the executioner. You're like, well, we're going to have to go to the jury and ask them. So what do you think? And there's one person that's like, no, 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 I don't agree. It's like, it's, and everyone's like, no, just fucking get rid of them. It's like, no, I don't agree. We're going to keep them. So, 
<laughs> I don't know. This is a lot of like uh, the school board or the educational board and school meetings or uh, the government, uh, the, the council, board meetings, council meetings, people arguing, people not people being mistreated, people not having enough money or wanting it. You know, what do you want now? It's like, well, I want more. It's like, well, yeah, but that's a song. They cried for more, more, more. That's fucking Oliver's twist, right? So it's like, listen, can they say, please, sir, can I have some more? It's like, no, like, no. So what do you mean more? <laughs> or Roger more? Or you're from the Moors? The Moor. They cried more, more, more. So like, now we want more. So like, yeah, but we want more. So like, no, you ain't getting a thing. <laughs> Don't you worry about a thing. Don't you worry about a thing. Someone ain't worrying. That's what I'm saying. Someone's like, well, we don't have to worry at all because we've got everything, so we ain't got to worry. And everyone's like, yeah, but we are. It's like, well, if you want to worry, crack on worrying, but we're not. So <laughs> it's kind of you like, oh, I'm fucking bothered. It's like, you lot might be worrying, but I'm not. So someone's well off and some people in. Well, that's society for you. But <laughs> anyway. Uh, uh, so we've got a deck that I've had for years. I don't know if you've followed me for years. If you have, you know that I got this a long time ago. I think this was actually made in London, this deck. Uh, and it is the Enchanted Tarot. The ever, ever... Everyday Enchanted Enchantment Tarot. Um, but let's see. So for Life Path number two for November. Please don't, as before, everybody ask a question of, what's that tarot deck? <laughs> so if anybody is, just keep up to date with the discussion page because I might end up posting something on there. Okay, uh, but let's see, that's my girlfriend. <coughs> uh, but life path number two for November. What's going on with life path number two, please, for November? Too much. Life path, Jesus Christ. Well, we're going to take those two. Damn. Shallow grave. Well, shallow can you get. <laughs> How shallow can you get? Shallow? Shallow, la 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 la. Five of Cups, the shallow grave. Someone could have physically lost a dog at a grave site here. Or like visiting. But this is visitational rights that a lot of you might be like, look, I want to visit the children. I want to see the children. And someone's like, fuck no. You're not visiting them. This is a family man or the family guy. Right? But, uh, so you got the King of Cups, it's like, like I want to visit. It's like, no, you can't. Yeah, but I love you. It's like, I don't care. I'm sorry, but I need some time. I'm still trying to get over my ex. I can't bear it. Someone has also physically lost someone that they can't get over. There could be physical um, spirits around this person also. Because this is, I can't believe what we've lost. It's like, we had such a good time. Why, why have we lost? Why do we lose? But this energy of the King of Cups is like, fuck, I don't give a shit. And some of you are really dealing with like um, someone that has a lot of family and they're like, come on, kids, let's go out for the day. Let's leave this person behind. And they're like, oh, no. Some of you are dealing with an ex, possible, right? Because this could be a decision that goes between the family man, the family guy, and the shy guy. Um... <coughs> But there could be a King of Cups here that looks like they're not bothered. That they're, they're really not bothered. But the feminine energy really could be. You know, it's like, well, you're bothered. It's like, that's what I'm saying. The message at the beginning was, well, you might be bothered, but I'm not here. Because this person's like, well, I don't give a shit. I've got everything I want and I'm happy as a pig in shit. And I really don't care. You know, so these might be clients or uh, people like employment grade people here. Because this King of Cups is like, well, I have my family, I have my home, I have everything that I want and everything that I need. I have a dog. <laughs> I don't know why I'm seeing dogs in this. But like, uh, it's raining cats and dogs. It could have something to do with the Pisces. It's like, well, I've got everything that I want, everything that I need. I'm happy as a pig in shit. So why is it that you feel so down here? 
energy. There is a Pisces Cancer Scorpio that's in the family that could be uh, dating, uh, say if you're a grand, like, say if you've got kids that are older and there's a water sign that's dating someone, they make you as a Libra feel down. This is someone that has to pay for people's houses or something here I'm picking up. Because I really pick up that this King of Cups has the kids, has the family, has everything that they want. They don't mind getting mucky. They don't mind getting messy. They don't mind doing things. But this feminine energy is like, I can't believe how much I love you. I can't believe how much I love my nephews or my children and why can't I have them? There is someone here also that is, like I said, going through this where the children have gone to the father and a mother misses their kids when they go to see their dad here. Some of you are going to visit your dad's grave site from the past and this is the person here that you go to visit their grave site your father, and this is their spirit that is around you here, okay? Yeah, because this used to be such a happy-go-lucky person. Some of you physically did. Oh, man, see, I can't start welling up again. I've done that through Pisces reading. This is their family. This is their dad and their mum, possible. Because there isn't a mum here. This is a family man that raised kids on their own. So if you're missing someone, they miss you too. Okay, because this used to be uh, someone that brought children up independently from a marriage where the family wasn't together. The, the mum and dad weren't together. This father raised their children by themselves that could be you. And it could be you that goes to this grave site to visit your father or you're just going through a lot of memories about your dad here. Or about your husband. For a lot of you, this is where you miss your husband. This could be a widow here. But that's as well as, for some of you, that is also going through something traumatic about your love life where there are children involved around X. And this man seems to have, like, everything where it's all prepared for the kids to go and see. And they love him, but you miss the kids when they go to see the father here. Life path number two for November. Yeah. These are people that are fighting the background. Two of swords. This is you, Libra. This is your card. This is like, I, I don't want to know. I'm not prepared to look. This is a final warning here. A final warning. A final notice. Some people could be hang, handing in their notice and saying, look, I can't do it anymore. I can't bear to look. I can't bear to see what's the what is this letter going to hold here. Someone could be sending you a message and you don't want to look at it. Someone's not prepared to move on and look at why someone's so happy here and why someone's not. Because there's this disbelief of like you're causing so much chaos in the family. There could be someone here that is suffering from the father having the children and the mother missing the kids because there could be a father here that blames the woman for not for fighting with their children in the past, maybe, because there's a lot of ghosts here, so it could be the past. The ghost of Christmas past. But there's a woman here that's about to slap a girl here because they can't deal with the disobedience and I can't cope. And I'm not prepared to look at the behaviour that's going on behind my back. So there is this backstabbing energy of where 
people are not prepared to look like the other way. Some people are looking the other way, but people are like, I, I can't, I, I don't even want to look. Like, you know, I'm not prepared to look the other way, but they are. That's what I'm saying. Because this is like, also, if you take this back energy, is like, um, I'm not prepared to take you back. You've destroyed me once before. I'm not prepared to take you back. So this can be where you might want to offer because you're now losing energies or someone is, but now realizing that they've lost, like the, the energy has now come a like, oh, Scooby-Doo moment of like, Fuck, and now I actually realise that we haven't quite got what we thought that we had. And now you might be faced up against this now decision where people might be saying, no, no, I don't, I don't want it. I'm not prepared to like make this decision. It depends what you're offering me in a relationship or it depends what you're offering me for work. Because I don't know if I really want it. Because the trust has been broken here in relationship and in, well, love and uh, work. Because these are family members that are bickering and someone that doesn't want to admit the truth about what this message might be. So there's this intimidation of like, well, we're going to give you an offer, but you're going to have to look at it. You're going to have to open your eyes at some point and smell the custard or custody battle, or smell the roses. Someone smells roses. Like, um, I'm also picking up that someone, uh, the chocolates, like roses, chocolates, can remember like chocolates and sweets as a child, and the, like the quality street, which also Capricorn energy in this deck. Um, but, uh, one way street, quality street, can remember things about uh, Christmas or a one way street. These streets with too many names, maybe Glenfield Road, Glenfield or Glen, the name Glen. Um, but uh, can remember uh, sweets as a child, um, but can also smell roses, like roses. Yeah, like red roses, red rose or the name rose, but red roses, roses are red, violets are blue. Something old, something new, something blue was a marriage once before or a commitment. What have we done? 40 minutes. Okay, we're going to leave it at that at the moment. Life path number two. This is an extended version that only goes over to... Um, Patreon to the Secret 7 bundle. Okay, so if you're a part of that, you get to watch your extended version of this. That is your, uh, breaks the energy down to the life paths. But uh, you also get your first, the 15th, it should be there now already. Then the uh, rest of the month for star signs. And then also this. And it's all included in the Secret 7 bundle. Okay, uh, also if you wish to donate towards the new PC, I really would appreciate it. It's in a GoFundMe link uh, below the video where you can find emails and all things like that and also link to Patreon that offers you different things um, or reaching out for a, for a personal reading, all that kind of thing. But so far, this is your uh, Life Path number two reading and uh, Let's go over to the other side and see what you've got. Thanks very much, guys, for any like, share, subscribe, all that kind of thing. And uh, I'll see you soon.